Hi, welcome you to my YouTube channel. And in our video today, we're going to look at how you can add and subtract time. This concept is pretty important because it's applicable in time calculation, especially when you're dealing with earth geometry in both mathematics as well as geography. So now, let's look at how you can go about this. So it's just uh, all about addition and subtraction of time. So now, let's look at the first examples where we have to add time. So now, under addition, we're going to add numbers the way we add them. So you need to know that these are minutes and these are hours. So now, we will add 8 plus 4, that's a 12. Then 2 plus 1, that's 3 plus that 1 from here, that's 4. 3 plus 1, that's a 4, and then 1. This time exists, so there's nothing to change here. That is 1442. Let's move on to the second example. We add 6 to 8, that's actually a 14. Then we remember 1. 1 plus 0 plus 5, that's actually a 6. Then 13 plus 0, that's a 13. When you check this out, of course, you're going to notice one thing that is uh, there's no time such as 13, 64. But we need to remember that 60 minutes equates to one hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 60 minutes from 64. So 4 minus 0, that's a 4. 6 minus 6, that's a 0. So when we take away, or we subtract 60 minutes, which equal to 1 hour. So 1 hour will be added to the hours this side. We are going to remain with 4 minutes. Let me rub out this so that you're able to see clear. So what we are going to remain with is 0, 4. And then that one how will be added to 13 hours, so we're going to have 14. So now the time will be 14.04. So that's how we go about addition of time. Now you need to know that a calculator doesn't understand addition of time. So you have to do this on a piece of paper. Let's move on to the second example where we have to do subtraction of time. How do you do that? So 8 minus 4, you check. The minutes at the bottom here, the ones that we are subtracting from the minutes on top, are actually less than the minutes on top. So we can we can easily subtract them. So 8 minus 4, that's a 4. 2 minus 1, that's 1. And 3 minus 1, that's a 2. And then, so the time is 12, 14. And that time exists. So it's correct. Let's check on the second example. So now here, when you're subtracting time, first of all, you don't have to subtract directly. First check the minutes that are at the, at the bottom, the ones that you are subtracting from those which are on top. So you're like, okay, can we really subtract 42 from 28? If you can't, and if that's the answer you say now, we can't subtract 42 from 28, then what we need to do is we have to get one hour from here. Now remember, these are hours, these are minutes. So now since these are hours, when we we get one, that one how we're getting is actually 60 minutes. So here we're going to remain with 13. 60 minutes will be added to those 28 minutes which are on top. So we're going to have 88 minutes. So now 88 minutes, we subtract 42 minutes from those 88 minutes. So 8 minus 2, that's a 6. 8 minus 4, that's 46. So now when we subtract these 42 minutes from 88 minutes, we're going to remain with 46 minutes. Now 13 minus 1, how about that's a 12, 46. So friends, that's how we go about subtraction and addition of time. In the next video, you will be walked through the steps that you have to take for you to calculate time in different zones of the earth. But well, thank you so much for